must die. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Oh. Wow, see what I said? A lot of money. <laughs> uh, jeez. Eiffel Tower. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Oh. It looks like it's a conversation topic. Oh. Victoria. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second, Missy. Let's just let's see this out. Max, you busy girl? Okay, I'm not, actually, I'm not gonna bother reading this, but... Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. Oh, man. Actually, I will read this. Max, you busy girl? Avoiding homework, as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You never let me help. Taunt. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. I do try... By the way, I scored that killer bud from you-know-who, FYI. Save me a bowl, gotta bounce, TTYL. <laughs> oh, that's new. That's new. Oh, and now she's... Wow. She wants our attention this time. Well, I mean, we didn't really want her attention ever, but, you know. Damn. Jeez. Alright. Anyone else? Oh. Fuck, we have a lot of people here. Taylor. Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. Your mom's a badass, blah blah blah. She cried like a bitch. It's okay to cry. Hmm. We even good with we're good with Taylor, although we were getting good with her last time, so I mean that's not too different, although it looks like we're more in bed with them now. Yo yo, Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Dark room! Oh my god. Sweet. So no two whales for you? Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. Look, we're even in bed with Nathan. I mean, it's just... It's crazy, you know? It's just crazy. Mom. All oh, right, Mom. Okay. Oh, wow, well, that's the same. Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Blah, blah, blah. Give me some time to answer. Okay, so, yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude. And please don't be snippy. See, in my opinion, the mom's being a bit of a bitch here because, like, I don't know. Max is kind of explaining why she can't just respond right away. And, and then her mom is, like, jumping on that reason and somehow twisting it back at her. And I just think that's really stupid. <laughs> but whatever. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one, and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. Uh, you said I could use your credit card when I needed it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Don't pout. Love you. Like... See, I don't know. It... it, it I don't know, it seems like she's being a bit more of a bitch this time. I mean... I get that Max is maybe a little bit more destructive in her ways, but... Let's see, hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. <laughs> yeah, and now we're, and now we're, um... <laughs> and now we're basically like totally 180 with Alyssa now. So, that really, I mean, some of these texts really gives you like, a total, um different side to Max. I mean, we saw her hanging out with, like, the Vortex Club people when we first spawned into this timeline. And, uh, we're basically talking to Chloe. You know, talking about meeting up. And, yeah, cool stuff. Um, let's see. Episode 3, those are the photos we got. Episode 4. all the ones we can get here that would be 10 so let me just study these quickly try to keep those in mind wait what was that one okay try to keep those in mind we'll see and I don't know if this has changed but in case it somehow has we can read it here I guess about max everything is new because we're in a new timeline I guess 
Oh, and here's page one of our new... Man, I didn't even look at this stuff. I, when I ever played this, I, compl I didn't even think about this, I don't think. That's interesting. So much to do. I wish I could slow down time, especially to register all the cool things that have happened since I'm back in Arcadia. Blackwell rules! Yes, I'm older, and thanks to Vic and Nathan, I'm now a bit more fashionable, too. They surprise me with the most beautiful straw pork pie hat wrapped up Furushiki style. Wrapped up Furushiki style. Best birthday party ever. Also, drunkest. I can't sleep. Hey, dear diary, remember me? Busy Max. Busy. Busy. Can't right now. Must shoot. Must live. Must befriend. Should rekindle with Chloe, too. But we must vortex first. Party time! Huh. Yeah, so a whole different perspective on Max now. Oh my god. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Jesus is right. Whatever's the short. This is basically about the whole fucking Rachel catastrophe. Rachel Henry is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Rachel Amber's still gone. That hasn't changed. So some changes, not all. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Quite interesting, isn't it? Quite fascinating. Oh, right, we can step out of here. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. That's nice. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too. Yep, things are still fucking up. That hasn't changed. I'm sorry, Not at all. Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Yeah, way before. Ah, whatever, no one gives a shit about you anyway. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Chloe. Hmm, it was it was here already last time. Wasn't it like there instead or something? Except in that case, she couldn't see it. Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Hmm. I don't see why you couldn't keep it around though. Wouldn't it cost more money to like just? Wouldn't it cost money actually to just take it out and stuff? Don't seem practical, Ming. What are you, what are you, what is your bitch ass looking at, William? They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Yay, American medical system. Wonderful. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> oh. It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? What's on my mind? How about that Paris trip? So bitch? you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Neither was taking down that playground. I'm going to stick to that. I'm sticking to my guns there. I'm I'm going to I'm going to hold you on that issue cuz it's a very important one to be discussing. Uh I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Yeah... I get it, but I don't know. I don't know. Being around you and Joyce again is 
So you might, you might be fucked, man. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Well, okay, it's dead whales. Rachel Amber's still missing. Chloe's in a wheelchair. Uh, uh, weather's still fucking up. There's still a storm coming. Yeah, I mean, could be going better. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I, I don't actually think it was French. care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Tell me about the Prescott. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think Let's about them? Let's get some them? dirt. Evil. Next question. Oh, okay. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even Joyce. Have to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl. If we can use Joyce. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Chloe just, Chloe just like died or nearly died a lot of times already. Like, there was the incident in the bathroom, there was the shooting herself accidentally, there was a train incident. I mean, you know, it's, uh... Man, we've, we've, we've gotten her through a lot. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I... Just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. <laughs> well, I just want you to. I could tell you all about it if you want. Happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. Maybe I not always, will, but Max. most of the time. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. Okay. It was so great talking with you like, again. Like at least. You act like it's the last time, and please keep me from these bills whenever you want. I mean, at least like 60% of the time, you know, I'll, I'll be there for her. But that other 40, uh, you never know. I don't know, it's a, it's a chancy thing. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Damn, your money's cookies? I don't know how many places accept that. Choice is a food coupon, boss. Well, at least you got coupons. At least you got something that might work. Yeah, so Joyce works for Pan Estates, so my my thinking is that if we can like somehow use her and exploit her to um to uh to pull the rug over the Prescotts, then maybe we can uh we can go through with our world domination plan. Just maybe Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Hmm. They're drowning in debt. Just to take Literally. care of their daughter. Such bullshit. All that debt is like just pouring all over their face. They can't escape it. We do too. Yeah, basically, uh, basically money bullshit. Uh, everything is bullshit expensive. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. Let's see. And they can't really afford any of it either. It's all just like loans and shit. I mean, it must be. All right, got the bathroom Nothing again. There. Well, there's some pills there. What was that? We should have looked at that. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Yeah, you know, I hear it depends on the natural medicine. There's some fake shit out there or whatever. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Well, th think Bathroom again. looks almost the same. Just more medicine. 
How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. I think you look dumber, but... I'm just kidding, Max. Don't worry. We'll settle things. Actually... Let's go in here first. And no, we are not turning off the light. I'm sticking, I'm sticking by that decision Chloe's all the way. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Oh no. Well, it's not really her door anymore. That was it. It's my door. I'm the one who knocks. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Basically, uh, Aunt Dorothy here is, uh, shipping in some money. Oh no, she's not shipping in any. She can't. She's she has her own medical bullshit to worry about. And they bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Well, it's always possible. I guess it's wishful thinking, though. Damn it, we need Chloe on her feet, though. It's the only way we can go through with this properly. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Well, why don't you? Come on. I'm not against it. Come on, go. Open it. Fuck. Shoes. God damn it, Max. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Literally stomping everywhere. Like a child. I've never heard much about William's brother. And basically, it's kind of the same story of William's brother. He's He's been helping out, but he can't lately because of all this bullshit with work and everything. So yeah, there's always, you know, people's problems. People, everyone has different problems. Can't all I guess we connect. stopped growing up together. I guess you did. Wow, back in 2005, she was already like the same height as you. Or almost, Jesus. She must have grown fast and then just slowly declined since then. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Well, remember, Maxine, you're the one who's gonna who's in control of all this. So, if anyone's to judge, it's us. More specifically, me, because I'm controlling you. But at least we never had to hide from Step Douche. That's one plus. But then again, I liked fucking with him. I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Nah. <laughs> Why would you even think that? It's wishful thinking, Max. Everything's connected. Remember what Chloe said, we gotta connect the players. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Hey, Joyce. Didn't even look at me when you greeted me. Disrespectful bitch. Joyce is already a super mom. Dr. Bill. I'm guessing it's like this game's version of Dr. Phil. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. And now she is one. Oh my god, contrast. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's usually how it goes. It's nice waking up in Because you're quite again. boisterous. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Yeah, the accident that we have to vaguely I imply or um, just kind of vaguely mention and not go into any kind of detail about ever. Yeah, that one. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. just here, like, fucking everywhere. Um... Fuck. So, 
What do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Yes, Arcadia Bay is a living entity. Uh, hold on a second. Fucking hell, I forget about my stupid notifications every goddamn time. Fuck off. This shit. <laughs> Fucking. Ugh. I'm done with this. Alright. Alright, back. Okay. Fucking. What now? Um. David Madsen. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um. Might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. <laughs> yeah, he's. Well, maybe a, it was, but I want to know. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. Yeah, just curious. You always were. Nice to see that always it am. doesn't change. Yeah. Plus, you guys have to work too. Uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> no, that's Still my plan. His son, Nathan. Too late for that one. <laughs> uh, I have William. to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Better than David Douchebag, I'd say that much. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those so two well, Max. More than ever. Chloe Grammar. Will actually, listen to William. God. She usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. Hmm. I like how you think, kid. I like how you think. I wish I was a Things would be friend. a lot different if I did. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's yeah, she hates you guys deep down. Improving. Her respiratory system is very oh. weak, and she, she. Do you know what I'm saying? She's dying. Oh, choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. Well, until I better get back to you're all dead, but. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Don't tell one of you's dead, really. It's good then, for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. You're not really part of the family anymore. William and I can't believe how much you've grown. Well, believe it, sister. It's been... It's been, what, five years? Yeah, a lot can happen in that time. That's like the period of freaking puberty and shit. Most of it. All right. Um, look at this letter. It's oh basically. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Basically, this letter is just telling us what Joyce kind of already told us in like a more uh, detailed version. So yeah, Chloe's in. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. In for a rude awakening. And thank you for your input. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Nor does anyone. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. <gasps> Megan! I'm onto something here. Megan plus Prescott's plus 
Storm plus time travel plus loans plus pan east plus trees equals Illuminati. I figured it out. It's the Illuminati. I know it. I know it to be true. You just watch, guys. You just watch. He's trying so hard. He's still awesome. Super dad. Like, super bad. I don't know about either. Alright, it looks like we are done here. Oh my god. <laughs> don't remind me about the fucking window. I completely forgot about the goddamn bird from episode one. I think if I didn't, it would be here right now, actually. I don't remember for sure. Maybe not, but... It, it recurs. It definitely recurs, and... Fuck. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Oh, really? Did it look exactly the same out here before? I don't know if I remember that. That billboard there. It's a big billboard, fuck. Jesus Christ, that is actually really big to me. It's like Times Square sized. Uh, do we look everywhere? Yep. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, I had enough of you people. What do you want? I definitely have to take a third job. Yeah, you definitely do. Don't worry. I'll make things better. Especially for me. All right, Chloe, here's your drug. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. Do you want the I'm red nosy, pill? But not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. <laughs> you bitch. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. Yeah, get that shit out of here. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um... Like cocaine, Stop me meth. Being too emo. Oh. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some. Nope, you're too emo. I'm stopping you. Kids. I'm stopping you right now. Nope, Please. that was way too emo. My diary is like nope. emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price, ever. Except when she's being too emo. Like I just said, she is. Nope, Chloe. I'm. I'm not doing it. You know what? I'm not even going to take it. I'm just going to look at it. So Chloe has her own photo album. Yes, she does. She just told you. You got to process that through your, through your little head, Max. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe yeah, stole yeah, Max, you said that already. Fun. You said that already. Max, short-term memory. Short-term memory. Reality. Stop it. Okay. Nope. I am not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking it. Nope. You, you, you told me to stop you if you're being too emo. I think you're being too emo. I'm not taking it. I'm taking a stand. I'm putting my foot down. Nope. Grab that photo album over there and let's have a oh, fine. Like, Fuck. God damn it. Persistent bitch. Alright, let's go. Let's right, take a look at this shit. Okay? Perfect. No, it's terrible. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the light. Oh, that was a photo. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Maxine, I banish you to the bottom cellar. For eternity. Whoa. Awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Still we still have it. You. No, Chloe. It's time for both of us. 
I'll make sure of it. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. <laughs> Me too. This photo. Funny you say that. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, that's Listen, what that's what I was thinking a while ago. My respiratory system is failing and Oh, Chloe, just out with it. I know what you're going for here. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm Stealthy just Chloe. putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? Oh, come on, Max. You know what she's saying. God. That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. You trying to make me cry? You feel that way today. Not happening. I want this time with you to be my last memory. I already did that in my last two playthroughs. Okay. I'm not doing it again here. Yes. No way. I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Got no time for that shit. Oh boy. Okay. Um. So. So even though Chloe is our badass evil, um, partner in crime, um. She made her request, and as as an honorary co uh, co take over the world uh, extraordinaire. Um. I will respect it. And besides, we're gonna rewind time anyway and fucking get her back, so. <laughs> Chloe, I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. Don't know if he'll be dreaming, but. It's a thought that counts. All right, Chloe, Thank now die. So die. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Okay, I muted my mic because I was busy not crying. So yeah, just in case anyone wanted to know. Um, and, uh, yeah, what Chloe said, uh, see you soon. Well, that's, uh, that statement is actually much truer than it seems. I'm sorry, William. Oh, <laughs> Definitely will be seeing you soon. Fact. It'll almost seem like I was never gone. Oh, okay. Fuck. God, why am I suddenly having so much trouble with this? Oh my god. Um. Okay. There we go. Fuck. Ruined my diatribe, god damn it. I wanted to be all dramatic and shit, now it's fucked up. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Oh. I got that freeze too. Hello? Hey honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had
had to get groceries. Why are we looking at the fireplace? Why are we looking at the fireplace? Oh. We're locking it in. No going back now. This will be our final decision. And there it is. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Wait. That means we have to make this one count. He's never leaving. That makes all of us. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know, buddy. You, you're gonna be in for a bit of a surprise in a few minutes. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Well, I'll never see him again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. <laughs> 